Hi guys! It's a windy fall morning. It's just gorgeous out here. But you'll hear the wind chimes because the wind's really kicked up today. And um, I got all of the cactus put in. Um, but I thought I would take the time to pop down my rat tail cactus. And it may take a couple pots, but I'm going to use a smaller pot because um, in the spirit of all my potting down, um, I have decided my cactus have too much soil around their roots and maybe they would do better without so much soil. So when I was bringing this one in, all of the pieces started falling off and I thought, you know, maybe this is a good opportunity to just go ahead and restart the plant in a smaller pot. And some of the, let me try to show you, some of it's just not looking its best. Some of these longer strands are just brown. They suffered last winter and they never really rebounded and became pretty and green again. So this was a, something that I bought from cuttings and started just from my cuttings. And I'm going to just restart it on my own and get that done today and take the cream of the crop. I'm taking the best pieces and um, it's going to be a much better looking plant. And if I end up with too many to make just one pot, I'll go ahead and get another pot. But I have a feeling I'm going to be able to fit a lot in here. So once again, I have my soil, which I've mixed with a lot of oyster shell as my grit. And I may even add extra. I'm really getting into my oyster shell, so I hope it's a good setup. Well, that finishes the bag. Here's what I'm using. Mana Pro Oyster Shell. There we go. All right. And I'm going to start just by filling this all up in my smaller hanging basket. And a rat's tail cactus is really a great hanging plant. They get pretty long. And it's just a nice structure when it hangs over the side of the pot. So a lot of my little segments are going to be going straight up, but when they grow longer, they'll come over the edge. So I think this is going to be enough soil here. There we go. I don't want too much in there because I want it to be able to really be kind of propped up. I'm going to put a little bit more. I think this is good. But anyhow, this is very good draining mix. There we go. A very good draining mix. Get that out of the way. I'm using the seed starter just because, I, like I said, it's what I have, but I've added a lot of mix. So let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the pieces that fell off. This is what a segment looks like. And all you do is tuck it down in the soil and this end, you have to make sure that you're putting the right end down. This end is just going to go ahead and start with new roots. So I'm using my finger in the soft soil just to get the very end of that down there. And I'm just going to line them up right next to one another and fill up the pot. And I will have probably, I don't know if it'll send down roots over the winter, but I'm, and you just break them off. They just fall off actually because they're, it's probably dehydrated, but they fall right off and you tuck them in and this will be a good good way to restart the plant. You just twist and they come right off. It's dry dirt, so I'm not worried about the ends healing over. It's just dry dirt. If you're concerned about that, I'm putting them about an inch down, not too far. Um, if you're concerned about the ends drying, you could always make your segments a day ahead of time, but I'm not because I know that I'm not going to water this. It's just going down into that dry soil. And I may water it once or twice this fall, but that's it. It's going to be dry most of the winter. And that's fine because these little segments are holding some water. So let me just keep twisting these segments off. Some of them are just falling right out off without even a twist. Which is why it just, it's just telling me that the base of the plant is not a healthy plant. So here we go. I'm just going around the edges, tucking that underneath the soil. I may add a little bit more soil in the, when I go all the way around. 
and it's going to look a little funny, you know, when it's first set up, but let me just twist. I'm doing a gentle twist and they break off right in sections. This one um, suffered from mealybugs last winter, which is another reason why I really only want to take the healthiest parts in. I'm putting the long ones around the edges. I'll put the shorter ones in the middle. And um, like I said, I may be able to get a couple plants out of this. But the key with any type of cactus is you do not want tons of soil to be wet around the base of your plant, the roots. They just, they like to take a drink and then dry out immediately. You could even cut it here, but see this one is so almost grayish. It's just not healthy. So I'm taking the cream of the crop, like I said, and I'll fill this whole thing. It'll be wall to wall little sections coming out. And the important thing is to put the, it's a little bit uh, thicker on the side that you should put downwards. There we go. And this soil is probably two years old, three years old, so it is time for some fresh soil on, on this plant. Let me know down below if you have uh, this type of cactus, the rat tail cactus. It's a fun one. People always like to see this one. Okay. Let me look on this side and find some others. And Sometimes your plants just, if you want to keep them looking nice and keep them healthy, you know, it's kind of stressful for them to come in and change environments and come in for winter and go into dormancy. So you want them to be at their healthiest when this happens. Which is why I took the opportunity to restart some of these plants just to give them that head start, the ones that were not looking so great. And let's see, I just saw a couple big ones here. Oh, here's a big one. I love, I want to put these at the very edge. And the soil is so soft here that it really should root right up. Uh, whether it happens now or in the spring really doesn't matter. It's got a lot of, it's holding a lot of water. So there's no reason to worry about its lack of roots right now because a cactus can just fall in the middle of the desert and start rooting it. They're really quite remarkable. The other thing is, is you can look at each section. You just you know, put your eyeballs on each section and you can know that you're not putting any pests into this restart. So it sort of guarantees that you're going to have a healthy plant down in your uh, plant room. There we go. Let me know what you guys are doing to get ready for winter. If you take your plants out in the summer, spring and summer like me, you're probably in this situation where you're making sure all your plants that go back in are healthy. I think we're done. So guys, look at that. I have a smaller plant for my space. It's all going to be healthy. Oh, this one got put in upside down. Almost made a mistake there. Oh, we can take that one out. Put this little guy in. All right, so thanks for listening to me babble, but look, doesn't that look adorable? It's all tucked in there neatly. It's a perfect plant. There's absolutely no bugs on it. I can take that in knowing that it's going to be healthy to have around my other ones. And uh, sometimes a restart is just what you have to do. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Good luck with your winter prep. Bye.